Hi, my name is Gergay Madaras. I was asked to um, tell a couple of tips for aspiring young conductors what we can do at home uh, in this unexpected confinement. So here are three very simple tricks and tips and you all have heard most of these I'm sure but never from me. So number one is very simple and very useful. Listen to rehearsals. Don't just listen to concerts, but go online, go on YouTube and try to look up as many rehearsals as you can by old or young conductors, male or female, um, famous or amateur. Try to make a list of the things that you found useful, how they communicated with their musicians, with their orchestras, and try to find things that were counterproductive perhaps or even bad and uh, what you should always avoid. And of course, how we communicate with our orchestras, um, it's the, the, the most important skill um, uh, a conductor can have. Number two, uh, try to enhance your hearing. Try to, try to um, listen to a recording of a simple chamber music piece and try to isolate one of the voices and grab a pen and paper and try to notate it. Um, it's not as easy as it sounds. Try to grab a Haydn string quartet and only notate the viola uh, voice. And uh, you will see how much uh, your ear is going to focus on, um, uh, on, on, on little details. And this is obviously a skill that we all need as conductors. Number three is the most important. Try to enjoy this time by yourself or um, among your loved ones, try to re reconnect with your families, uh, try to um, try to relax, try to do as many sports as you can inside or outside, uh, while of course staying safe and distant from each other and, and, and staying healthy. But this is probably the most important that we can do. Try not to stress too much about what is going to happen. Uh, we all have anxieties, we are all questioning uh, what the future is going to be like, but for the time being just try to find comfort in uh, what you're doing at the moment and try to just relax and unwind and, and, and gain your energies again.